Today I'm gonna to show you how to freak people out in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com. And today we're gonna to show you how to freak people out in Photoshop. You can do this in just a couple of steps. Now basically what we're gonna do in Photoshop is we're gonna show you how to turn people's eyes completely black but keep the reflections in there so they look real. And this is gonna to be totally freaky. It's easy to do, anyone can do this. Now to add a little bit of spice to the mix, we're gonna be doing a photo shoot and I'm gonna be the subject. We're gonna turn my eyes black and I was like, okay, we gotta take this up one more notch. So we got this like black tar kind of turpentine weird molasses type mixture and we're gonna be pouring that all over my head so basically i'm gonna be covered in black i'm gonna take my shirt off and it's just like make a gnarly ass scary nasty ass face and we're gonna be turning my eyes black it's gonna be a lot of fun this is something you can do at any time of the year probably during halloween would be the best but super easy let's go ahead and get into our shoot All right, guys, we're ready for our photo shoot. Basically what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna hold, uh, take this black treacle, which is like molasses type stuff. Angela is gonna be pouring this all over my head. And uh, basically I'm gonna be making incredibly scary faces while she pours it on my head. So a couple of big things here, there is a bunch of big windows there and that's super important because the light from the windows is going to be reflected in my eyes and we're gonna be turning my eyes black, but you need reflected light in your eyes in order for this to actually look real. If not, you're just gonna have totally black eyes. It's not gonna look real at all. So we're gonna take the reflection from the windows and then superimpose that over top of the black eyes. It's not, it's not hard to do. Just keep in mind, you wanna shoot this in front of windows so you get the reflection of some big windows uh, on in your eyes. So we're we're gonna do this. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty gnarly. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna be making freaky faces to this camera. We're shooting with a 5D Mark III, 24 to 70 here. Try to start like pouring it around here and then like let a little bit kind of like gob uh, towards towards my uh, face. <sighs> All right, we ready? ready? All right, go ahead, start pouring. I wish I had a mirror. Keep taking pictures. Ah, it's in my eyes. Ah, it's in my eyes. Ah. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. This I don't think you have to Photoshop these. Topics. I don't think we have to Photoshop. <laughs> oh my God. Can I see some of those shots? Sure. Just unclip it from the tripod and turn it around, please. Sure. This is what an actual behind the scenes. This stuff is actually really tasty. I gotta say, where's Mike? I'm over here, Ed. Okay. <laughs> Can you see under that eye? Yeah. Oh my God, there is definitely a lot of shit on me. Wow, yeah, I don't think we need Photoshop to make this look, uh... <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we got what we need. All right, let's take a couple more pictures here. Oh my God, this shit is in my eye. Don't do this with anything toxic. Toxic. By the way, you can totally use cornstarch and just put some like black food coloring or something in it and you'll get a similar effect. Ready? Ah! All right, focus again with me a little closer here. All right, cool. <laughs> I am definitely ready to not be covered in this shit anymore. Mm, all right, guys, let's get me cleaned up and let's jump into Photoshop. All right, guys, back to cleaned up. Had a nice little shower in this sink. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at our shots. So jumping into Lightroom here, basically I'm gonna start kind of when the goo begins and I'm just using the left and right arrows to kind of scroll through my photos. And anytime I see one that I like, like right there, I'm gonna hit the letter P to go ahead and flag this as a pick. Okay, and I usually go through this process like pretty quickly and I'm just looking for stuff that like kind of instantly sticks out and I'm like, oh cool, I like that. Oh, that, that's totally gnarly. <laughs> and I'm not trying to like choose the actual finals here. At this point, I'm literally just choosing like what, what I like to start with. Um, and then we're gonna go through and do another round and kind of choose the images. Uh, we're gonna compare the, the rest of the images from there. Oh, that's pretty gnarly too. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, it was so much fun. All right, so just going through them and I'm kind of taking a look at my eye because don't forget, we do want to do a special effect here, uh, which <laughs> this is so gnarly. We actually want to turn my eye black, 
Um, so I'm keeping a look at my one open eye. I was not able to open this eye because it got stuff in it almost instantly. Um, but I'm taking a look at my one open eye and just making sure that, we talked about the reflection in the eye. So just making sure that the reflection is there and that my eye actually is in focus. Oh my God. Yeah, these, I think we did it. I think uh, if our goal was create <laughs> freaky photos, <laughs> there we go. And there we are done uh, trying out my new hairstyles. All right, so going back through the shots just one more time, anything that I missed, I wanna make sure that I've got like a freaky face too. That's, that's super important. All right, see there I look happy. We don't want that. I, I wanna look like scared and, and freaked out and whatnot. All right, perfect. Okay, so now that we've gone through and chosen our picks, what we're gonna do is just see just the picks. So we can go ahead and filter that and then we can compare those images side by side. So let's go ahead to here where we see filter right down here. You can also go to your grid view, hit G for the grid view, and you can hit attribute right here and then filter by flag. So you're just gonna see the flagged photos. Now, my next tip here is to use what's called survey view to go through these images super quick. So let's hit control or command A to select them all. I'm gonna hit N on my keyboard for survey. I'm gonna hit shift tab and that's gonna get rid of my sidebars. So basically I've got like a real quick uh, view of all my photographs and it's easy for me to like get some away. Like if I don't want one of these, all I have to do is hit the X and it's gonna go away. So jumping back in, basically if you don't like a photo compared to the rest of them, just hover over and click on this little X and it's just gonna go away. It's a really, really easy way to go through your photos. And these ones here at the beginning are just a little bit too tame, uh, especially when we compare the ones to <laughs> later in the series. After all, we're trying to freak people out with these photos, right? So all these look pretty good and they actually start to look pretty similar. That one looks like I'm having too much fun there. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and X out that one. This, this one looks pretty good. This one, I, I like that one a lot. So kind of looking at all those photos, that one looks pretty good. So let's still go ahead, go ahead and double click there. And I just wanna zoom into my eye just to make sure my eye is actually in focus. Uh, Cause we shot this at F5.6, um, which is like, we do have a bit in focus, but you can see like back in my hair and stuff like that. It's kind of out of focus now. So this is perfect. So this image is, it's perfectly in focus and, uh, and we're ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and send this out to Photoshop. It's super easy to do. And you guys, <laughs> I'm gonna give you this photo. You can download it and you can test this out for yourself. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's just right click here. I'm gonna to go to edit in and we're gonna to go to Photoshop CC 2017 and it's just gonna pop it in Photoshop, super easy. All right guys, so here's our image in Photoshop and we're gonna have so much fun. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna create a new layer and we're just gonna use our brush tool here. This is super easy. So just use your brush tool and go ahead and choose black as your color. And I'm gonna zoom right in and basically what my goal is now is just to paint black over top of my eye. So I'm just using the brush tool here and uh, don't feel like you gotta be super precise on this. You can always go in and, and fix your, you know, fix your uh, paint a little bit later if you need to. And I'm gonna paint all the way over my eye and I'm just gonna leave those little reflections on the bottom there uh, and the little reflections on the top. So what's gonna sell this effect is the reflection in your eye. And uh, we're just gonna cover over it for right now. And then in just a second, uh, we're actually gonna show you guys how to get it back. And it's it's really easy to do. All right, there we go. So just painting black again. I've just got my normal brush tool here. Uh, we're just painting black right over top of the eye. And let's go ahead and bring this in here just a little bit more and kind of fill this in down right there. All right, I'm gonna have it kind of fade out just like that. All right, let's zoom out and make sure we did a, a good job. <laughs> A nice, good job painting black over top of my eye. There we go. Kind of let it go in there. And again, if you paint outside the lines at all, like if you do, you know, like down here, I painted a little bit too much. Um, all you have to do is click on your layer mask icon, which is right here. Okay, it just looks like a rectangle with a circle in it. Click on your layer mask and then just paint black on your layer mask over any area you don't want this black to show up. Okay, so basically we just painted black over my eye. It looks pretty freaky. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a blur. So let's click on this layer. I'm gonna go to filter. We're gonna go to blur and to Gaussian blur. It's just gonna help it blur in just a little bit. There we go. And kind of like look like it's kind of going out to the edges just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so 
obviously this doesn't really look that real. Like if I just zoom out, it's like, okay, that, that doesn't really look that real. What we need to do now is we need to get that reflection back. Okay, so for that, just turn this layer off. It, this is super easy to do. So just turn this layer off real quick. We're gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna go to select and I'm gonna go down to color range. So we're gonna select the color range and literally you got this little eyedropper tool here. You can just click wherever you want to on your image and it's gonna select that color range. So in this case, I'm gonna click on the white in my eye right there. And that's why you need to make sure that you're facing a window or a softbox or a large area that's gonna actually reflect light because this is the super important part. So basically you just wanna select with your eyedropper tool, there we go, just select out that light. And if it's white, it looks good. So whatever's white is actually selected here and whatever's black is not selected. So let's hit okay. It's gonna turn that into a selection. We're gonna turn our black layer back on underneath this. And then on this layer, we're just gonna paint with white. So hit your brush tool, B for the brush tool. And we're gonna grab white as our foreground color. And we're just gonna paint white right over top of here. And I'm gonna include a little bit of my eye as well. All right, there we go. Just go to select and down to deselect. And there you have the reflections from the original photo on top of the black. You can see there they are. See, it just kind of gets the original reflections on top of the black, and that's what's gonna make it look real. See, it looks like now we have an actual eye that's reflecting rather than just pure black. All right, guys, so that's the majority of our effect. Now let's go ahead and do a little bit more editing. We're gonna like turn this, we're gonna take some saturation down. We're gonna add some contrast to this image and really make it look pretty gnarly. So I wanna start off by darkening the area just right around my eye. So I'm gonna create, we're gonna go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and I'm gonna go to curves, and we're just gonna bring this down just a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna invert my layer mask by hitting Control or Command I. Okay, and then with this curves adjustment layer, basically I'm just gonna paint right around here around the edge. So it doesn't, because right now it's kind of reflecting what was the white part of my eye. You know, it's kind of like making my eyelid a little bit lighter. And basically I'm just darkening it down to make it look like it would, it would be reflecting the, the dark in my eye. So you can see just there, just kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, now the next thing I wanna do, I photographed this against uh, what's basically like white foam core here. You can totally do this against a white wall or any kind of background, it doesn't matter. But in this case, it's not pure white, so I want it to be pure white, so really easy to do. We're just gonna grab a levels adjustment layer. Let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and we're gonna click on levels, hit okay. And then I got this little white eyedropper here. So I'm gonna click on my white eyedropper and then click here on my background. Okay, and it's basically gonna make my background, like anything that's uh, darker than that is gonna, is gonna go to complete white. So we just turn this off and on, there we go. And it's gonna add a little bit more contrast to my image. Now, obviously at this point, we're starting to look a little bit like not, you know, you wouldn't do this uh, <laughs> if you were photographing someone for like a magazine cover, obviously you wouldn't do this, but why would you do this for a magazine cover anyway? So let's throw some uh, desaturation in here to kind of give it a little bit more of a gnarly effect. And while we're at it, I'm gonna bring up my black levels a little bit. So we're just gonna click here, still in my levels adjustment layer, we're just gonna click here and drag my black levels up just a bit. Okay, now let's go to layer. I'm gonna go to new adjustment layer and we're gonna go to a black and white, hit okay. And I'm just gonna lower the opacity of this just a little bit. Again, we're trying to create like a freaky, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a freaky type image, obviously, right? So like just taking away a lot of the color just makes it look a little bit more freaky. Now, in this case, I do have like a seam right behind me because I photographed uh, on this on this uh, foam core. So I'm just gonna create a new layer and I'm just gonna use my brush tool. So hit B for the brush tool and I'm just gonna sample this background color and I'm just gonna paint away that seam. So you can use all kinds of cool fancy tools in Photoshop, but uh, oftentimes, the brush tool will totally do uh, everything you need it to do. So I'm just uh, holding Alt or Option to sample this color in the background, which is just white. So you could just choose white as your foreground color too. And just painting away this seam here on the background. So paint it away. And if you make any mistakes or mess up, like I painted over the finger a little bit, it's not a big deal. Don't, don't worry about it. All you have to do is create a layer mask and uh, layer mask that back in. All right, like I'm going to do here, just put, click on your layer mask button. All right, and then we'll just paint this back in and you get all the original detail of your image. All right, 
<laughs> so zooming out, there we go. I mean, that's that's pretty freaky. Let's hit F for full screen and uh, zoom in here. We can see, uh, I think we did it, guys. <laughs> if we were going how to freak your friends out in Photoshop, uh, I'm pretty sure we did it. So with or without covering yourself in that black tar molasses stuff that we had, you can totally use this effect to freak your friends out in Photoshop. Just photograph yourself right near a window. Make sure you get a reflection in your eye. It's as simple as using a brush tool and painting black all over your eye and then taking the color of the highlight and then painting white on a new layer. You can black out your eyes and make totally freaky images. I hope you liked today's episode, guys. We're trying some new things out on Flurn. If you liked it, hit that like button so we know and leave a comment right down below. What else do you want to see from Flurn? And don't forget, you can download this image on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. Thanks so much, guys. I'll Flurn you later. Enjoy freaking your friends out in Photoshop. Bye, everybody. As you can plainly see, I'm an oil man. <laughs> Mommy, I had an accident. Oh my God. <laughs> so here's another tip that not a lot of people know about. If you run out of hair gel, you can actually just use black treacle. It really is beautiful stuff. And when you're done, uh, you got a little tasty little treat you can just... I wish I was not me right now. I wish I was me in like an hour right now. Woo! I am a sticky, sticky hot mess. Close up on this hot, sticky bod. That is a hot, sticky mess.